everybody. Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, said Psychic Medium and channel. Today we will be doing another basically hour of answering questions and um yeah, well, uh, yeah, answering questions and helping you connect to loved ones on the other side. So we are going to get started in a second. If you would like to call in and ask a question about life, love, career, finances, I ask that you have a specific question. Um, and then, uh, or if you want to connect to loved ones on the other side, I just need their first name in their relationship to you. And we will get going with that. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. So you guys, you know how you have the ringing in the ears? And I know this happens for a lot of people, but sometimes that ringing turns into such a high pitch and then it'll go lower and then like, it's just sometimes. So as I was doing the intro, it just went to this very high pitch. I mean, so high of a pitch. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I am out of vacay mode. <laughs> I'm back on it again. I think it took me a moment to just get back into the swing of things, but I'm so, so grateful I was able to go on vacation um, a couple weeks ago. Thank you, Michelle and David. Um, I spent so much time in the pool. It was amazing. I realized one thing in life, we should all have a pool and live in a place where we can be in that pool like almost every day. Yeah, I just think that should be a thing. Why aren't all places built with a pool? And if you live someplace cold, indoor pool. I, I don't understand it. I no longer understand that. Okay, so let's get serious about the show now. Um, we are going to get, uh, uh, what's, um, so Sal says the high pitched sound could be SSP. Sal, super spiritual protection is that ssp <laughs> i don't know okay so and i'm going to tell you guys i have ringing 24 7 and um it changes tone or pitch all the time all the time it's it's i it, like sometimes when i fall asleep it's not there but 90% of the time it's there. Okay, we are going to get started. Should we do names today first or songs? Somebody in the chat tell me names or songs or channeling. What are we gonna do first? I don't know. Um, let's see. Hey, Genevieve. Hey, Sumu. I hope I'm saying your name right. So, and you guys, I will get to your questions. Just please give me... Um, a second to do my normal intro. Uh, <laughs> Amy, you crack me up. Give me a second to do my my normal intro, like the songs. Um, let's see. Did anybody say sing sing <laughs> songs <laughs> names? Okay, we're gonna do both. So I'll start with names. Um, the first name I'm hearing is um, Yeshua. If you know, you know. Yeah, yes, you are. Okay, the next name is Man, life is good. All I can say, if you if you're in the chat and you know what that is say I know. Ah, uh, I'm about to cry, folks. I'm about to cry. Okay. The next name is 
Maria, and I hear that song by Santana. Maria, Maria, remind me of a South Side story. I don't know if it's South Side. I just threw that in. <laughs> and I can't dance either. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the next name is... Um, Okay, they're emphasizing the B in this, Belinda. I double checked, it's Belinda. And they keep emphasizing, emphasizing the B. The next song is. Mari, Mariano. The next song is, and uh, the next song is. Oh, they are giving me some names this morning, you guys. Okay, so the next song is um, Alex or Alexander. The next song is Jennifer. The next song is Lucinda. The next song is... Uh, not song, I'm sorry, name. I'm sorry, you guys' name. But Yeshua in the beginning just... The next name is... I hyper. It's not a name, it's a thing. And I don't... You're going to... If you know, you know, is all I can say. Hyperbole? I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. Hyperbole? Um, and that should mean something to someone. Robert, Angus, and again, okay, so now the name is repeating. So this is where I'm going to go into songs and the name that's repeating is Lucinda. I'm going to go into songs now and these songs could be a song that your loved one loved, you love, or, uh, it's the answer to a question you have. And the first song I hear right away um, as I'm trying to talk is, It's the time of the season for loving you. And that's that's what I'm hearing from the song. And then I think this might be the same song because then I hear, What's your name? Who's your daddy? I don't have a daddy right now. Taking applications. Anybody want to be a daddy? And I expect full daddy treatment. <laughs> <So kidding. laughs> okay. Uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Oi. Um, okay, the next song is, I don't even know if those two are the same song or if they're different songs. Um, and then this song, I, I've heard this song, I kind of, if it came on, I'd be familiar with it. Hey, little mama, the way you move. Oh gosh, what is that song? I can't, I can't, that song, whatever that song is. And it, it, here's the thing. If you, if I say the words and you know it, it clicks for you, you, that's your song. If you need more than that, it's probably really not your song. And so that's how you can determine if this song is for you or, or not. Um, the next song is, um, that's, I actually like this song, Regulators Mount Up. <laughs> it was a cool dark night. <laughs> I can't sing it. I can't, I can't sing any of them. So whatever. Um, the next song is, I, do 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 do
standing by the window and da, 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 that song. Okay. And again, if it's for you, you're going to know by what I put out there and you won't need more than that. And the next song is, I want to loosen up your buttons, baby. It doesn't sound like that. <laughs> If I know I'm going to massacre a song, I am going to intentionally animate that song for you and your ears. Okay, okay. Um, I like that song, though. Um, and then I'm just hearing Shakira, Shakira. Never knew you could dance like that. <laughs> okay, that's it for songs. We're done with songs. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to go to the colors and the questions. And this is exactly how this works. I tried to take all the questions in order and the colors in order. I go from caller to question in the chat. If you are in the chat, yes, you can put your question in. Please know, please, please um, know if you ask a direct question, it's much faster for me to answer. And I'm probably going to take those questions first because the energy is there and it's strong and there are a lot of people who have called in and a lot of people in the questions and I like to um, kind of now that we're at this point of the show get get as many people as we can the call in number is 845-277-9131 if you are in the chat you can put your question in there I do as much as I can for the hour show and then I ask that you come back Wednesday if I did not get to you. Please do not be offended or upset if I miss your question in the chat. If you see that I have missed your question, repost it. It's not intentional. Please don't take it personally. It's just there's a lot of going back and forth and I'm the only person doing all of this. So please be patient. And here we go. When I call your area code, please let me know your name and where you're calling in from. 708, what's your name and where are you calling from? Pat from the Chicagoland area. Hey, Pat, how can I help you today? You had a couple songs in there. One was from my deceased husband. It was a Led Zeppelin song. I didn't get all the way to it. There's another one that I attributed to my son, and I guess I wanted to access some messages because I've been going through a hard time, and my son as well, but my son is very dismissive of me and um, um, is not really there for me during my hard times. And I didn't know if his father was weighing in on that, that's why the song came true, or his grandmother. Okay. Who's very connected to both of us. Okay, I want to make sure I do this correctly for you, Pat. And I do allow people one question or connection on the show and to give them the message. Can you please tell me your husband's first, just his first name, love? Uh, Jim. Jim? Yes. Like J I M Jim. Jim James. Okay, thank you. Okay. So uh, you know, um, how uh, can I please ask you how old is your son? He's forty. Okay, thank you. So for the first thing I'm going to tell you, and when I ask an age, it's normally because I'm hearing a number. I'm hearing the number 42 when it pertains to your son. And what that means is at the age of 42, your son will have significant changes in his life. Right now, he's overwhelmed with everything going on in his life for him. As much as he, he kind of feels like he's being pulled in different directions and there's just too much going on. And he's also... It, and here's what I'm going to say. It doesn't matter what's overwhelming your son, if it's, if it's something of his own doing or something 
you know, of, of whatever, it doesn't matter. The fact is when a person's overwhelmed, they just can't be there for anyone else. I feel like also there's some neurological stuff going on with your son. Neurological doesn't have to be physical. It can be emotional or psychological. I am not diagnosing your son. I'm just saying this is the message I'm getting. And I have to put that. I'm not diagnosing your son in there for all the reasons of being where we are right now on this platform. Whatever is causing this in about a month and a half, some of it's gonna subside. He might be a little bit better, but here's the biggest thing for you. As difficult as it is that your son cannot be there right now, what I need to tell you is in some ways he's not supposed to be there right now. Um, and it's really, it is very difficult when we have someone and we would hope that they would be there for us and they, they're, for whatever reason, they can't. Uh, the bigger thing that I'm hearing is even though you are a little distraught yourself, you have everything it takes to help yourself. So I'm going to do a healing and or clearing for you and anybody else that is overwhelmed and distraught. We're going to start to pull this out. We're going to start to clear some of this away. And I feel like some of the energy you've been carrying, you've been carrying since you were five years old. This is something that started then. So we're going to, and I literally see a little five-year-old and we're going to go in and we're going to start to heal that five-year-old because this is, this is where a lot of this has started and has continued and kind of like once we have, it's like, it's emotional, psychological, mental things are like, let's compare it to a, a little scab. And then if we don't heal that scab, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. I don't know how, to, how else to, and then everything piles on that. So since you've been five, so we're pulling it all the way up, up, up and out. <coughs> and we're going to take and remove all of this from you. And we're going to take it into the ethers where it, it can just transmute into love and light and then re-enter that five-year-old from the feet up and come out of the crown so that five-year-old can now uh, flourish with you. And then everything after that five, that age of five is going to start to pull now and be in that space where it, you no longer need it because the original wound, the original thing was at five. So we're pulling, 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 pulling. And see, and this is exactly why, um, this is exactly why um, the, the sun isn't supposed to, to be there right now is because there's, there's no way the sun could, you could get to this with, with that. So sometimes we have to take the journey to make the, this thing happen right here. So as it pulls all the rest of it, all the rest of it out, taking every ounce of it and all, all that has caused and kept this. And, you know, even as children, when things are not our fault, we think they're our fault. No matter what happens, especially under a certain age, we take on that responsibility and blame even if somebody, you know, something between adults or something between siblings, or we just don't have the understanding yet that we're not responsible for the whole big world. So we're going to pull all of that out of you too. And your husband is really apologetic that he had to be the first to go, but you, he's saying, but you agreed to it. So before coming in, the two of you made this agreement and, um, so we're just going to continue to pull this. Um, and for everybody listening, wherever your core wound was, whether it was at two or five or 22, it's pulling that core wound for you. It's, it's, 
you know, it's not only for the caller, it's not only for Pat, it's for anybody listening that's ready to let the overwhelm and the distraught go and where it came from. Now, the last thing we're going to do with this particular thing is we're going to start what I like to call rewiring the brain. And since the brain really has no wires, we don't need to worry about that. But we're going to change the programs and the beliefs that this is a pattern or a cycle we need to continue. So as we do that, um, and I'm just focusing in on this now, as we do that, no, all those old programs and beliefs are now going. And here we go. And then we're going to download or bring in a lot of light, a lot of love, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, and a new program into you that will take you on a new path and a new trajectory where you can now start to see things differently. Now, we're pulling all of this out today. You should feel lighter at some point today, once all of this is done, you should feel lighter and you should feel just lighter. Things should look physically lighter at some point. Over the next day, week, month, you should notice changes in the way you act, react, behave, and all of the other things. Okay, Pat, how are you doing? I really appreciate it, Tony. Absolutely, my pleasure. I, mean, I can't thank you enough. Oh, it's absolutely. Do you, do you do private reading? I do. Yeah, I do. You can go to my website, which is t o n i g dot i n f o, and every the the information for that is on there. And then you can also come back, and anybody can come back and listen to this every day to get um, more clearing for this. Okay, love. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Beautiful. You too. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go to the uh, first. Uh, I think this is it. It's always tricky clicking it because when I go to click the question, it like blanks out. So I don't I don't know which one. Um, Hi, will Amen and Aquarius come towards me romantically? Okay, let's see. Will Amen go towards her romantically? He's going to come towards you, but I don't feel like it's so romantic. Because when I say, will he come towards you, I start to get the yes. When I say romantically, I get the no. I feel like if this is somebody who has been in your life or uh, whatever, I do feel like this person for your, this is how I'm going to say this, for your definition of romantically, it's not going to turn out to be that. Okay. Um, will he come towards you sexually? Probably. Will he come towards you for casually? Probably. Will he come towards you for or will a amen, amen uh, come towards you long-term commitment? No, no, not gonna. And, and I literally hear not going to happen, not going to happen. Put your sights on something else. That's what I'm hearing for you. I hope that was helpful and I'm sorry it's not the answer that you want, but here's what I'm gonna say. I don't care who in the world or where in the world you are, as much as you might like someone or want someone or whatever it is, if it's just for that moment, that's a hard pass. That's a hard pass. Unless, you know, you're, you're a Jorge. <laughs> And break that word in two, please. You're a whore. Hey, if you're a whore, hey, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you're out there playing to play, that's fine. Um, 
then you're just about your ego and what you can get. But most people are looking for something, you know, long term and monogamous. Even if you say you're not, you really are. Most people are. Um, so if that's what you want, this is not the space for that. Okay, sweetie, or this, this person is not the space for that. Okay. Thank you so much for your question. I'm going to go to the next caller, 215. Who, 215, what's your name? Hey, you um, hi. hi, it's Jessica from Pennsylvania. And oddly enough, my question is very similar and the person's name is similar too. So I'm wondering if you see Ahmad um, starting to pursue me. Ahmad, okay. Is Ahmad gonna start pursuing Jessica? Not okay, and again, and again, uh, um, not in the way you think, Jessica. Or wait, yeah, not in the way you think, but also not in the way you truly want. Ahmad is not even close to being ready. I don't care, and this is I, again, I'm channeling, so please understand this. Uh, I don't care what this person says, they're not in that space in their mind where they are going to pursue something long. Okay, they're not in a space in their mind where they're going to pursue something serious. What's serious to us, okay? And what's a uh, commitment to us. Um, I'm also gonna tell you when I look at I'm not looking at him, but when I'm tapping, kind of tapping in, I don't see him, but I see other women. Now, before we jump to conclusions, these women can be women in his family that he may... How do I say? Like certain... They have an influence over his final decision of who he will and will not have like a, a marriage type of relationship with. Um, so that's really important to know. And I do feel like he already knows the type of person that he wants to, you know, have a marriage type situation with and it is it it's right now it, it, that but right now that time isn't there okay so here's you know i just want to say this and for what it's worth for what it's worth women or some personality types and i'm i am actually one of these personality types we can tend to think that because we are doing the relationship stuff, it means there's a serious relationship that's going someplace where the, the other person could be thinking, this is awesome. I'm getting all the relationship stuff <laughs> with no relationship. And this is, this is a thing for some personality types and most of the time those personality types happen to be in women because we think if someone is you know being intimate with us and they're pursuing us in this way and they're doing these things that means they're interested in us for a relationship and no that's unfortunately not always true sometimes that's just what they need to do to get to the 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 punani um and or to keep getting that um but they're just not ready for that committed relationship they're not in that space for that relationship they may never be they may some some men i mean there are men out here that are 50 60 years old, 70 years old, still trying to, you know, see how many, how many different women they can get. Ugh. Ugh. Puke. 
Um, but that's okay. Okay, that sounded like a judgment. That probably was a judgment. <laughs> but I too am human. <laughs> so what I'm going to say for you is if for this particular person, even if you two connect in a romantic way, it's not going to go much further than that. I cannot tell you what to do. I can tell you if you connect romantically, you will be very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. Okay, love? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, now, thank you. You're welcome. And I will tell you this, though. If you let go of that situation, if you completely let go, July 4th through the, I see the 6th, but I hear the 8th you have the potential to meet somebody who will be very on point with what you're looking for. A very different care. Um, they look very differently than the guy you mentioned. They have very different uh, uh, physical look than this guy, but will give you everything you want. Okay, love? Oh, I love that. I love that. So, Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. You are I'll, let, well, I'll work on letting him go. <laughs> uh, well, Thank let's, you. you know, let's do this for you and everybody else who is single and wants a, and I'm going to state this very specifically because this, I believe, is for these people, for this specific group, a uh, monogamous, healthy long-term going someplace relationship. Let's clear anything stopping or blocking that from coming in and that person from coming in. We want it to be healthy. We want it to be monogamous. We want it to be pro uh, progressing in the right area. So we're going to clear anything stopping or blocking that. And then be out and about the fourth through the eighth I do feel like there's a, um, there's a, what I'm seeing is there's a lot of people in the, in like, um, like I know what this area, they're showing me this area where I currently, in my area, and it's like, um, it's like a downtown area, but th the point is it doesn't have to be downtown. It's a lot of um, restaurants and like uh, bars and pubs and stuff like that. And it's near the water for us. But for you, wherever that is, the fourth through the eighth, um, be out and about in that area. And I see it's still a little bit light outside, but there's a lot of a lot of people around and I feel like you have the potential to meet this person and be okay if the chemistry doesn't hit immediately. Okay, love? Mm, okay. Yeah. Thank you. You are. Thanks. I appreciate that, Tony. Absolutely. My pleasure. You have an amazing rest of the day and thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go to the next question. Uh, uh, let me see, where am I? I think I'm here. Trisha. Trisha, I'm looking to start working again. Do you have any suggestions? Um, Trisha is looking to start. What can uh, I suggest, Trisha? Is she ready? Yep. They're saying, I'm hearing Zippo. I'm hearing nothing on this. Uh, Trisha, what I'm going to say is don't go back to exactly what you were doing in the past or what you were doing in the past. It's time for you to find, to forge, like these are their words. Don't, don't go back to that. Forge a new front. Um, if you need to... Um, it can be similar, but it shouldn't be the same. That's what they're saying for you, Trisha. I hope that that's really, really helpful. Um, 
and that that is uh, what I hope that's helpful. That seemed a little bit vague, but that's what they gave you. 509, 509, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Good morning. My name is Erica and I'm calling from Washington State. Hey, Erica, how can I help you today? Hi, um, I, I just wanted to see um, or ask you about my um, school applications. I have a list of 15 and I'm hoping I get accepted. Um, I'm looking into next fall. And um, I just wanted to know if you see any acceptance letters for these, one of these schools. Yeah. I um, or if I should just, yeah. No, I see. Um, I see you're going to be accepted it's, by a, a couple, a, a more than a couple. Can Can I ask Erica, what is your field of study? Law. Nice, nice. Um, Okay. Um, I do feel like you're going to be accepted to a couple of them. Um, I do feel like, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this, Erica, for what it's worth, and you are free to do whatever you want, sweet girl. Um, I feel like okay. you might, there's a chance you're going to end up one of two ways. So I asked you what you were going to study because I kept hearing psychology, psychology, psychology. So if you go into criminal defense law, make sure you're doing some psychology with that. And I feel like if you do criminal, I don't know if you already have figured out what type of law you want to do. But I feel like if you do criminal defense with some psychology, it will be very empowering for you. Um, mm -hmm. I do feel like whatever this psychology aspect is, is going to put you a little bit ahead of the game. Now, I normally would advocate for people to be prosecutors, but hey, we need criminal defense attorneys too, for those of us who are so innocent. <laughs> so, so, so I'm hearing, yeah, so I'm hearing if you do that, eventually you're going to end up, not right away, but eventually you will end up starting some sort of project also. Um, so you'll, you'll go, you'll get your degree, you'll pass the bar, um, and you will start your career, but then you're also going to end up at some point, and you know, I'm going to do a comparison. It's not the same thing. Okay. Like, you know, the innocence project, it's not that. It's a different type of project that you start out of passion because of what you experience in your career. Um, so that's that's what I'm getting for you. If that's you will, yes, you're going to be so clearly, clearly you are going to be ex accepted. Clearly, you know the the path is there for you to do that. Please make sure. And I know law school, I, I, I know law school can be very stressful. So please, um, but if you can add a psychology or some psychology type of stuff in there, it will help you a great deal in your career also. Okay. Mm, okay. And do you, um, I think I'll do good. Um, well, just because I feel like it really is a passion and I can envision myself going into class and just learning. Like I really, I really live for that. Like I really, that's the dream. And I think, um, naturally since I'm inclined, I, I should be good, you know? Yeah. So here's what I'm going to say to you. I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to do that, but this is what I'm going to say to you, love. 
school, really good students know how to memorize. Really good students can take information in and memorize. So that that's just, and, and people can disagree with that. That's beautiful. We all have the right to agree or disagree with things. Very good students have the ability to take in information, uh, comprehend it a bit, but the most important thing of, a, of what I've noticed is really good students have the ability to retain, remember, memorize that information. So let that be your focal point because when you can remember things, you can pass the exams. Now, when I say law school is a bit stressful, it's always about staying at a certain level within that law school. So that is where it might be just a little bit stressful for you, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be very good. You are going to do well, and I wish you the best in the future. I'm going to go to the next question from Sumu. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. Hi, Tony. I hope you are well. I am and glad to hear you had a lovely uh, holiday. Thank you. I did. It was so lovely. Um, do you have any message from my dad? His name is Janae. I hope I say his name correctly. Do you have any message from my spirit guide? I'm going to do your dad. I'm going to start with your dad. And that's and no matter who comes through, you guys, whether it's a loved one, an angel, one of your guides, they, they will collectively give you the same message. So I'm going to do your dad. Um, and the first... <laughs> The first message, uh, Sumu, from, and I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong and I feel like I am. Sumu, Sumu. I'm just going to say it like that. Um, Sumu. The first message is a song and it's that song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. So that is the first message. And then the second message that I'm getting from your father to you is life is, um, okay, I've, I've not heard this before, so I hope you understand it. Life is like, um, like a, I, I'm, I see, I hear cherry, but I see what are the cherry blossoms. It's all about the, the blossoming, the perfect timing for the blossoming. And you have to be in that space for the blossoming um, and allowing yourself to be the, um, like the, the tree, and I, I'm assuming cherry blossoming, uh, like the tree and to blossom at the perfect timing. And don't, don't keep your buds tight because of other people allow your buds to open wide up and to be the most beautiful blossom so in and here's the other thing i'm hearing from you samu so so uh, um is that the okay so don't allow your just because other people thank you are not happy or not having this or whatever that don't don't oh my god i love this message holy cow don't keep your bud tight or don't don't not shine or be bright or be happy or hold yourself down or dim yourself down um don't sacrifice your emotions and yourself because of how other people are, because you want to uh, make them feel okay about where they are, or because they're sad, you don't want to be happy. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Those who blossom 
so to say, or open up our bright, our, our shining and not dimming down, our showing others that are sad or upset or whatever. Here's the possibility for you. It's not showing off to them. It's showing up for them. Oh, Jesus, this is so good. I hope you guys know how good this is. So when you dim down, when you don't be your happiest, brightest self because you're afraid others will, whatever they're going to do, right? Um, you're actually doing them a disservice. It is your station in life to glow up to shine, to always be your absolute best, because if you don't do it, they may never see it. And you may be the light they need, the light they're supposed to see to go, oh, it's possible, let's go, let's do this. You may be that light and you may be the only light that shines. You may be the only happiness that they see. You may be the only joy that they see. So you have to allow yourself to be in that space, open like that cherry blossom. And so what if they if the adults are already too far gone or they they just want to be, you know, miserable for the sake of being miserable, show the children. Show the kids in in, in, in the younger generations who still can say, look, there's the example. That's what I want to be. That's who I want to be. That's where I want to go. That's it. That's it. That's what he says. Thank you so much for your question. I'm so happy I was able to, uh, to bring that through. Hey, Maris. Hey, Fawn. Um, I know I saw Heather down here too. Okay, I'm going to go to the next color. Did I do, you guys, did I do 519? If I did 51, I think I did 519. I'm going to go to 347. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Katie. How are you? I'm good, Katie. What's going on? Oh, gosh. You know what? Um, I am um, getting a new position, and um, I'm going to be going to, into office. So I'm going to be applying for some new um, uh, law firms. And um, I kind of want a guidance on um, how would I know, like, just in case I get, a, like, multiple offers about maybe about the company I'm going to take or maybe what's the right fit for me or, like, which company. Okay, so the first thing I'm hearing, I don't know if you've ever listened to Post Malone, but the first thing I'm hearing is that song, Congratulations by Post Malone. And it's basically, in this song, he's basically saying all the people who didn't believe in him now are coming to him. Congratulations. <laughs> so, oh, there. Yes, I know that song. Okay, re-listen to that song. Think of your journey and your people and see where that fits for you, love. Second, the place you're going to be is the, you know, I'm going to tell you this. You're going to get two to four offers. If it's four offers, it, okay. it always depends on how many you put out. Now, I want to tell you, don't be, don't be. Like if, if I say two to four offers, we only need one. We don't need the validation right. or the ego right. boost of a hundred offers and people pining for us. Right. Law offices are not like that any longer. It's, you know, they, they bring people in that are the right fit for them. And you're going to get between two and four. And that depends on how many you send out and where you send them to. Now, I am going to tell you this. Is there something? Yep, we're going to do this. For you and everybody else looking for work or applying or starting, anything stopping or blocking this has been cleared. I get a no. We're going to start to pull it now. And you, Katie, if you feel this, just let me know. Mm -hmm. um, 
It's okay. about applying to what you're passionate about is what I'm hearing. So whatever area you are so passionate about, that's where they want you to flow. Okay. I do okay. do feel like I do need to tell you don't feel, and I don't think you would, but sometimes we do and we don't mm -hmm. even realize it. We, we get this little desperation of, am I going to be accepted? Am I going to be good enough? Am I going to be uh, am I going to find yeah. something now? And I'm going to clear all that away, not only for you, but everybody listening. All that caused it, all that <clears throat> kept it. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Uh, that's just stuff coming out. We're going to pull all of this. And now I feel whew, the weight of the world is gone and it's good again. And here we go. <laughs> all that's stopping. Okay. So I do feel like you're going to get between two and four offers. This depends upon when what if you take one of the first off you can't go wrong any offer that comes through is okay. going to be a good offer they're going to make sure of it just make sure that you're going to be extremely passionate about the work that you're doing because where you start is where you're going to finish so when you get into this field and you start doing this mm -hmm. that whatever area you start mm -hmm. with is where you're going to go are you have you do you have you thought about ch ch something with children law and something with children like children's have you has that passed your purview or i don't even know if that's the correct way to say that if that's the right word no i don't even know any law with children <laughs> no 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 so like so here's so here's oh, I, this is a really tough area of law to do like when you're the the advocate for the children like when cps steps in or when the children need it doesn't even have to be cps it can be if if a if a oh my god this is gonna just Mm, I don't want to say it, but if a crime has been committed against a child and they need okay. representation, I, for some reason, I don't know what that means, but that's, and that doesn't mean you have to go yeah. there. I'm that, thinking about doing like whatever, whatever kind of law I'm going to be doing. I'm thinking about like maybe personal injury. I might get into real estate, but I want to do, I want to do, uh, you know how they do like pro bono or some kind of side thing where I am, say, maybe helping people with maybe civil rights issues or police brutality, just stuff that, you know, like to help people kind of thing. Okay. Okay. So I do feel like, yeah, I do. And this might just be one, one thing mm -hmm. I'm seeing out of your whole career where, you know, there is something and so you're going to know whatever. Okay. Here's how I'm going to go back here again. Whatever your passion, passionate about whatever you feel really good about. Yeah. That's the direction mm -hmm. you go in and you follow it. So whatever that is, um, what, what, what did you say before okay. real estate? What would, what would, uh, personal injury was it? Um, personal injury. Yeah, personal injury. Yeah, I think you're gonna, I think that's, is that what, yeah, I think that's the, I think you're gonna end up there. I think you are. I think you're gonna end up in that. I think you might end up there. Um, mm -hmm. Real estate, I don't, it, real estate doesn't feel as strong. I okay. do feel like, um, <clears throat> I do feel like you're going to start or you're going to do that. Um, so, yes, I do feel like that might be a really good fit for you. I want you to really look into it. And I feel like you're going to find something <clears throat> right away. Okay, love? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, thank you so much, Tony. I appreciate everything. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Um, Katie. You have a really mm -hmm. strong investigative, you know, us women, 
Yes, we will find it. We will find. I don't know why men are out here trying to. Oh, I didn't do that. Look, I have pictures. Yes. I have pictures. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, I do. I, if I you, my if yeah, you, yesterday. I just, I want to find out anything. Yes, I, I, I feel like if you go into a field that requires any sort of investigation also you are going to mm -hmm. knock it out of the ballpark you are going to be so spot on <laughs> with things because and not only that but you're going to help if you go into something that and it could be personal injury where you're investigating things but i feel like there's another like like where you will literally launch someone's you're going to do some private investigating, but you're going to launch somebody's private and get investigation career and their firm, their private investigation firm. So I feel like that your purpose is going to launch someone else's purpose. And whether that's wrongfully accused, and I wasn't even going to say wrongfully accused, I was going to say personal mm -hmm. injury, but whatever that is, I feel like it's going to be a really good, very good, oh my goodness, it's such a good place That's for exactly you. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Like yeah. in this, this project of wrongfully, yes, I wanted to do something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I do feel like, no. okay. I do feel like that whatever you're going to do, either and mm -hmm. or both, you're mm -hmm. going to work with a lot of investigators. I feel like you are going to be working okay. and, and you might, again, launch someone's private investigation. They start off, but then they have a company where they actually start to employ people and, and, and have all these. So your thing is going to launch their thing, whatever this is. And whenever it comes about, I don't feel like this is day one out mm -hmm. of, you know, in your new career, right. I feel like it's right. going to be a bit mm -hmm. down the line, but it's gonna, it's gonna jump. And that is not a statement wow. I would normally make, but it's going to jump. Whatever jump means, what it's going to jump. Katie, Katie it's going to jump. So. Oh, God, you are so funny. Cody. There's that. It's about to jump. Oh, sometimes I feel so cool when I'm doing my show and these little things come through. And then I look back at the camera. I'm like, yeah, no, that's that's not who you are, girl. That's spirit talking through you. You are not that. But it's gonna, I'm gonna just start saying that all the time now. Sorry to all of my friends. It's gonna jump. It's gonna jump. <laughs> yes. Okay, Katie, that's what I have for you. Um, thank you, thank you so much. You are so welcome. So, if, um, personal injury, private investigation, and ninety seconds. Uh, um, wrongfully accused. Those are the three things. Put that. Here's what I hear. Oh, here. Oh, oh. Put that in a package. Like, put that in a package okay. and make it work for you. Okay, love. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. Thanks for calling in. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. Um, you guys, 60 seconds. everybody, thank you. So I'll be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central and then next Monday at noon Central. If I did not get to you today, I absolutely apologize for that. Please, I have plenty of TikToks with healings on them and they are in the shorts on YouTube. Um, please come back and I will do everything I can to get your questions answered um, in the next session. Remember, you can come 15 minutes before the show and start asking questions or wait on the call log if you want to ensure your spot. Thanks again and have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.